All right, today I'm going to go over how to set up a mat side computer for streaming. This is the same uh, no matter what computer you have. First thing we want to do is to check our date and time and make sure it's current. So that is current. It needs to be exact current to the date and time where you're at right now in the time zone that you are in. And we're going to go in our controller folder, which is on the desktop of all of these computers. We're going to update the controller. Here is where if there is a local server, you would put in the local server IP. Not a whole lot of people are using those. If they're just online, you would go ahead and just uh, sync it to TW, which is the online event management sync. And then you start up your mat side server. That's going to open up a Windows command prompt and it's just going to run in the background so we can minimize that. And you're going to open the controller itself. Pick this type of tournament that you're in, whether it's an individual team tournament. Uh, if you're connected to a physical clock, you would hit yes. And then the clock IP is always 10, 26, 13, 101. And you would hit continue. If this screen comes up, it means that the clock is not connecting correctly to the controller and you'd want to grab the event director in order to fix that. It should skip you right past that to the setup screen if, if it connects to the clock. If you hit no, there's no physical clock that you're connected to. It skips you right to here. The server location is trackwrestling.com. You don't have to worry about the clock IP. The style, obviously freestyle or folk style. Um, Greco and Freestyle are down at the bottom here and then College Folk Style would be another option um, on there. Separate riding time is for college. If they have a um, clicker instead of just the riding time being included into the clock time. Show clock decimal point, I usually you want that. The other ones can be set to no in the display format as normally you hit save and now your events come up on the side over here so you click on events you go to your event that you're going to be running you put in your worker password which is in the event itself again the event director can give that to you you hit save now we're on the match list page so this is where matches will actually populate once they're sent to this mat. So you want to tell them what mat you are. At the top there, you want to confirm it in this bar here. And again, if their match is assigned to this mat, they would come up here and it would be ready to score. For you, now you want to go to the video tab. Make sure that the overlay is set to OBS Studio. The broadcast settings for the mat that you're on. Click Assign says it's okay good you don't have to worry about the scene collection but if you did need to reset things you can go to basic that's the scene that we're using right now even though it's not completely correct and we'll show you in a second there so once that is all assigned then you go into OBS you would run any updates in OBS if they're available It's important to keep OBS updated and the computers updated because it can slow down. So if your computer has Windows updates, you'd want to run those as well before the tournament or it will slow down the tournament as a whole, the computer as a whole as the tournament's running if it's trying to auto-update Windows while you're going. A lot of the information you're going to need, you're going to be able to get from the event director itself or from the, uh, in Slack, from the staff that are supporting you from the stream team. So once OBS is updated, you can see here that this last one was a scene collection that was used that had, uh, they had added some stuff, so we're just going to get rid of that image. Um, but you want the ticker, the match overlay, and the video to all be on here, uh, which is what it should say in your sources. It might also have a between match ad. We can get rid of that because we're not running between match ads right now. So right now we have no video on here, as you can see. If I go back into the settings for OBS and I go to the stream, you can see the stream key and the uh, RTMP URL were pushed over. We can confirm that those were correct if you want to. Usually I try to do it for one mat at least to make sure that it's going, that it's pushing correctly. Um, so you can see it's 
54906, 54906. So it looks like everything is pushing correctly over to OBS. Settings should be uh, correct, but again, if you needed to correct them, this bit rate of 3000 is a bit high for a multi mat tournament. I usually crank it down to 1500 for a multi mat tournament. Um, everything else looks correct on their video should be the same for the base resolution and the output and it is so now I should be able to hit start streaming and it's gonna go ahead and start it's not going to right now because this event is not ready to roll uh, on our side it's not uh, time to stream and so it's not gonna go to it what I am seeing though is that I'm not getting any video so if I go into the properties here I'm gonna look for my video camera it's a webcam that's hooked up here and because it's a webcam I'm gonna to have to go into the custom resolution and adjust that so that it fits 1920 by 1280 if it were one of the handy cams that come in most of our kits then this would just be the handy cam that you select and you don't have to select custom it'll automatically pick that so now we've got video up and ready to go you're ready to hit start streaming and go and uh, and get things started. If this event were in testing or live when I hit start streaming it would start and then you'd get a green bar in OBS. Typically what I do then is I just move OBS to the background. If it has this little open the current tab as a pop-up window I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then I'm gonna maximize that and let OBS just run in the background so that's not played with. The mat side server running in the background so that's not being played with and this one is ready to go. If I wanted to switch between events, so if this had a like girls division or um, it was a team event and it is switched between divisions, I would go into the events themselves. I would find the event that I wanted to switch to. I would log into that event. Then I'm going to close down OBS, go back to the video streams page, and assign the stream again because a new event is going to have a new RTMP and stream key then open up OBS again and go ahead and start the stream back up and I should be ready to go so I like to leave the page just like this for the scores so that OBS isn't on the screen and they don't start clicking things and pushing around and screwing stuff up that is how you set up the software to stream on a track wrestling video kit